All right, let's say a few words about the YouTube account. So you need to open a YouTube account in the name of your business, okay? You're going to put your address there. You can't have a huge title, okay? So you just put the most reasonable according to your reality, right? If you're a store, if you're a supermarket, put the name of supermarket, right? The previous name written properly, you know, don't need to be in English right now, okay? But supermarket, yes, you have to put the word supermarket in English, and then the name of the supermarket, right, as it was already there, but not in, in Chinese characters or Arabic alphabet, right? Or Bengali alphabet, you have to be reasonable, you have to to write in Latin alphabet, okay? All right, so you put the word supermarket. If you have distribution center, okay, put distribution center in English and then the name you are using, right? Okay, and then you put the number and the street. The number, the house number, you don't need to put the block, you don't need to put all these details, you know? And the most reasonable, if, the CD, that's important. Right? That the seed is very important. Some seed is very long. But these four things you need to have there, okay? All right. The main word in English, the name you already have in, in all in Latin alphabet, your address, the street, and the city. Number, street, and city, okay? If it fits, put the country, all right? If it doesn't fit the whole country, just put at least Asia or Africa. Put the name of the continent. America doesn't fit South America or North America. It's okay because it can't fit too many in a title. Just be reasonable. If you just put the, the continents, fine. One playlist is going to be the two days cleanup, right? And big places can have two extra days just for washing. Right? That's okay. On this playlist called Two Days Clean Up, you're going to put what? Videos before, videos during, videos after. No more. If you do the washing, if your place is really big or was really dirty, or if you were a farm, you know, if you have two extra days to clean, it's okay. All right? Demolition does not fit here. We're talking about two days clean up or four days, right? Two for emptying out and two extra ones for washing. Okay, done. You always show people that are helping the owners, that are owners now or the manager in charge. Then I show, hey, hi, say the name of the person all the time. Look, no, washing the bathroom, washing the kitchen, cleaning up here, cleaning up there. Okay, people need to smile, men that are to smile, men that are to say hi. So you need to have one or two days planning before you do the two days real cleanup, okay? It's very important to plan because some places are huge. If you're a small office, you can plan in 20 minutes done, right? You already know what to do. But some places are not. Some supermarkets are huge. Department stores are huge. Some schools are huge. Mechanic offices are huge, right? Okay, marinas. Boat uh, rentals, all this place, thrift stores, some are huge, okay? Great. Remember, the documents you have to keep are the accounting, because maybe you don't have time to do everything in two days. You're going to do the reports. You need to do the reports in two days. Very objective, we already said in other videos. But the accounting, you can have two or four more days, Right, because you're going to have the two washing days. You can't do the washing and the accounting. Focus in one thing, get it done. What's priority? You have too many computers and you need to get rid of it. Okay, so have one or two days for the accounting. Organize everything. And one or two days for the washing. Okay, walls and baseboards and bathrooms and tile and trimmings of the tile behind doors and uh, fans, you know, ceiling fans need to wipe a drop of soap and rinse, everything to rinse. Mop, 
with drops of soap and rinse. If you have a product without soap, that, of course, you're going to use it, okay? Because you don't want people being sleeping, right? If the person going to be mopping, ask, is your tennis shoes new? Look, don't only ask, look, because we don't want anybody with old tennis shoes that doesn't grip anymore to be sliding and break their bones, right? You have to be 100% smart. 100% safe every single minute of your day. From the time you get up at your own house, do things fast, but properly. Don't drop anything. If you're holding something in your hands, hold it strong. If it's a cup, a silverware you're drying, or a broom you're cleaning, whichever it is, hold it strong. If you're young, if you're old, it doesn't matter your age, anything you have in your hands, it's a cleaning towel, or it's an object, or it's a computer, laptop. Hold it strong, all right? Great. A bike, you're going by bike. It's okay, for four weeks it's okay. Go by bike, skateboard, scooter, it's okay. Hold it strong, right? Okay, great. Okay, so these four days, two and two, does not count uh, garden beds, making, no. Finish first your cleanup, and then you're going to have time to build the garden beds, purchase the, the, the soil, right? You can't do everything. Do one thing at a time, even that you have 40 people. Okay, now we're going to focus, do this. All right, one, two hours, done. Now we're going to focus, going to do that. All right, done. All right, get organized and get ready. Remember, glass, old glass, do not put them in the same trash. Put them on the side, right? Or recycle scent. If you have a lot of metal, call the person with metal, right? Don't send everything to trash. Just try your best. But if they can't pick up, all right, then you trash them done. Get your job done. Okay, don't throw your furniture away. Remember to keep a nice set of 10 or even two living rooms outside with furniture that can handle the heat, the sun, or keep them in a shaded area under a tree for people to see, talk a little bit, right? Not only the proper tables, people are going to study and sit straight, but two, two living rooms on the outside is fine. Choose the best call. If you're going to buy used, all right, go quick before they put everything away. Thrift stores will keep these couches of two seats, you know, for inside, for outside, they will keep. And living room, dining room that are not super bulky, you know, up to 15 centimeters, it's okay because some are water resistant, they're rain resistant, so they can already stay outside, they're very synthetic and strong. Up to 15 centimeters for couches, it's okay. But for dining rooms, chairs, I think up to, to 8 centimeters. Let's do up to 8 centimeters, no more, okay? Can be attached or not, that's fine. Can be soft or harder uh, uh, padding, that's okay. Because we don't want every family to have the same exact... Um, picnic tables inside their apartment. That's for people that do not have going to buy that because we already have too many living rooms and dining rooms. So let's use what we got. Okay, great. So thrift stores can also keep shoes holder, small, medium, big, until the end of December because it's important for families to have a, a shelf. A small shelf is the best. Okay, to put their, their shoes that they use every day. And special ones, okay, they put in a closet. All right, thrift stores also going to keep shelves. Everyone that have wooden shelves going to keep them. And the plastic ones that are strong and firm, they're going to also keep them. Because they're good, they can, can, they can be used, right? Keep shoes, male, females. But um, centimeters for high heels for women going to be only up to 8 centimeters. So get the measurement and measure it. 
measure really properly with a measuring tape or a ruler. 8 centimeters maximum. For parties or special events that they have a proper firm soil, but no more than 8. Right? Because some are 10, it's too much, it makes no sense. Up to 8. All right, that's good. Thrift store can sell them and families. If they have extra, they don't use anymore, they can also send to thrift stores, that's fine. All right, everywhere that has suddenly, right, diminish too much their area, what they have to do? Block the back and move. They have up to two weeks to move out to a new location. So, if they're rental, they have to contact the owners, undo their contract without fee, talk properly and move the supermarket whichever you are thrift store if you are school or you know uh, not school sorry schools because the school is going to be busier but all this store is going to be smaller because a lot we can't use anymore right so the first thing you can stay there for two weeks don't do garden beds right of course we're going to move Move across the street, move close by, I don't know, whichever is the most reasonable for you and people that work there, right? So, already see what's available and move because it's not for people to have huge empty spaces, okay? That's very important. And you already have to block all the other doors, that's mandatory, one door for everyone, no emergency door, no back door for delivery and pick up, no, it's one door, okay, one door, all right, in the first few days, you know, four days, let's say, up to two weeks, up to two weeks. So after two weeks, you can keep two doors for these people that really have a pickup and delivery. But after two weeks, no more. Two weeks, plenty to purchase the proper door. If you need a front better door, put the front better door. But it's not to have side or back doors anymore. All right. So two weeks, the limit for a proper door that you need. You need larger door, fine. Because some people, you know, deliver food in, in little carts, all right, so you need a bigger door, need a bigger door. That's fine, but it's not to have two, three, four, no, and not the back door at all. And on the clean, you have to clean your air condition. You can use the ones, the big ones on the floor, it's all right. Because some places are burning hot, that's okay. Until you install proper windows or not, you know, we're going to give information about this afterwards. Use what I already have. Some countries have open window. Open window is fine. Some countries already have AC close to the beach, humid or too hot areas. That's okay. All right? All the banks need to close down. You can have only two people. Why is that? Because people are not going to deposit and... You know, it's direct deposit, mandatory, mandatory. You have four days from today, notice day, to give direct deposit of salary straight to people's account. Because these six months, we are going to use money from own country and points, right? Whichever the person needs. But not to give a check to the person, and then the person needs to go to the bank, the bank is far away, need to get a bus to go to the bank, and then deposit, and wait to cash, no. Make it easy, already pay straight to each person, bank, you know. They got the check, get the information, four days, owners need to do that, four days, okay. If you have any employee any staff member that work more than 40 hours we are already gonna use our rules and guidelines pay them when they start working when they work more than 40 hours they need that extra pay doesn't matter the rules of guys of your country because that's reasonable for every country up to 40 hours were acceptable before it's okay but you have to pay them right an hour and a half for each hour they work more than 40 hours okay now it's different people are gonna work only up to 25 hours per week that's it 
but they work 20 or 25, depends how many days they work, right? No more than 25, okay? All right. You also need sign in and sign out, but everyone needs to arrive before the time, such as people going to start 20 to 8, right? So they can have two proper complete hours of garden and study. So 20 to 8, everyone going to sign 20 to 8. It's 7.40, right? And not this old this minute. And when they do a prayer, everyone needs to be there. So you have to do the prayer about what? 7.25. Drop off the kids. The only place going to open earlier and close later is the school. But they also have two teams working. That's fine. And during midday, the preschool kids, they are quiet for two hours. That's fine. They're going to need these two hours. Right? They start reading a book, relax, hear the teacher's song, and then they really sleep for an hour and a half or so. That's fine. It's good. It's important for them right now to disconnect because some kids, they were having movies. They were going to bed 10, 11 at night. They were going having, they were having video games and private classes and go to a place, go to another place. This, these kids, preschool kids, first graders, they need to rest. It's very important for them to rest, so that's fine. Table, mats, yes, you can use, if they're reasonable, because some are huge, not needed, right, too big. So you can use the little towels, 20 by 20, Gonna keep them in another location, not in drawers. It's mandatory to take all drawers out. Metal drawers, wooden drawers, any drawer, it's out. We're not keeping them. So you have to keep those towels in a plastic container with a lid. Make sure no spiders, ants, nothing gonna reach them when you're not there. So it's nice, you know. Have 20, 40 little towels, you know, it's like washcloth, right? 20 by 20, different colors. That's okay, because people are not going to drip, people are not going to make them dirty. Every Friday, wash them, right? That's for workers. That's not for restaurants, restaurant customers. If you have customers, that's another set, right? That you're going to use, okay? Have tablecloth only for special events, all right? Until um, August, don't need them, you know? We don't need keep them clean and wash. We have to be the simple as possible and focus on what is most important, is not to keep tablecloth in restaurants for people until August. Is to learn English, get the documentation so you, you, the 10 couples are approved as soon as possible. What that building going to be? Learn about the organizations, not to spend time doing things that are not needed, okay? All right. So, focus on the most important. Keep your tablecloth, of course. Wash them well, put inside plastic bags, transparent plastic bags, never in trash. If it's to keep, don't keep in trash bags, unless you don't have. If you don't have, put in white bags, right properly outside what's inside. But if you have boxes, don't keep in bag. Put the bag inside the box, because more neat, one box on the top of the other. What's in there? Tablecloth for customers, restaurant customers. Okay, that's fine, right? All right, so every place is going to keep one decoration. The same as the school, make one decoration for the door of the office, for the door of the kitchen, right? A, a garland or a panel, flat felt panel. The same as the schools. Okay, every single workplace need to have those done. So let's say four weeks for that. Okay, from the two after the two days basic emptying out, clean up. Uh, let's count four weeks. Okay, so people will have time to think and be plastic flowers. Yes, yeah, can be plastic flowers, right? At the garlands, 
or dispelled things, or the information for the schools. You choose a picture during the day. You know, the background can't be nighttime. No dark brown, no dark blue, no dark green. And, um, 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 yeah, the other color is okay. Daytime. Even pink it's okay on the back. Yellow, orange, white. All these colors are okay. You're going to keep that for five years. All right? If you move, you move the thing with you. That's important. All right, so you have two weeks to move, you move. All right, four weeks to do this, or the garland, or a felt panel. Great. Okay, I don't know if I say, so I'm going to say again, we're not having cleaning carts. You know, these carts full of stuff? No. You get a place, a closet, or a armoire, and if you don't have cabinets, use an armoire to put your cleaning products, because they can't be exposed, Right? They need to be kept inside the lock. Put everything it's a sign. What you have inside that armoire. It's okay if you if you if you don't have cabinets, okay, keep the armoire armoire or a cabinet, right? Or shelf, what you have that's most reasonable, right? Put signs. Signs gonna be bigger as one print size paper, bold. So, you're going to write every letter in 5 centimeters long for the capitals and about uh, 3 or so, 2.5, right, for the other letters. Really clear, bold, nice handwritten, really explain cleaning products for floor and bathrooms and kitchen, for example, okay? Tools for garden. You know, if you have different cabinets, each door needs one so people know. All right. All doors need to have a new key. Need to have a new key. All right. Even the doors you won't be using. It's not just to put a bar, a metal bar, and believe that that is enough. It's not. You need to purchase a new lock for every single door. The office door of the manager and assistant manager couple. And also for the, 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 the kitchen is an important one because you have food there. You can't have the food be contaminated. Which other one? The tools, the garden tools. If it's a door going to outside, if you have, for example, a garage, until you take out the garage door and put a small regular door. You know, you have to, you need new keys for all this. Get a key, a new key cabinet. A file cabinet needs to be installed at the wall with at least 10 hooks, 10 screws. Can't be a file cabinet, a metal file cabinet walking around with wheels. No, need to be properly installed. Which room? Decide which room is the best, you know, to keep the file of whom? Or your workers, right? Okay, this is the best. All right, going to be right here. Where? The office for the manager, the office for the, the um, uh, other, other department directors, right? For these two English teachers. It will be the same or not, because some places are very big and I have many workers, and some places are not. The other things for everyone, you're going to be listening to these videos, you're going to be downloading videos, right? Count. For downloading, already write in a piece of paper, because everybody have a different cell phone. Already calculate. For example, this video I'm making, the, the part one was everything just plain green. There was no, no videos added to it, no, no pictures, right? It's just my, my words and the green with it. So, how long on your cell phone it takes? The teacher is going to be managing this and everybody going to write, make a note on their notebook on the back of the notebook, for people to have an idea how long it takes. You have a video of what, 20 minutes or 2 hours, your clean-up video of the, the work area. So, you have an idea how long it takes, because you can be downloading one to the, you already download on your phone, 
but can be downloaded on YouTube while you make a new video. But until you make the download on your own cell phone, you cannot make another video, right? Understand? Use a free video that you have available there in your phone. Download if you don't have download one. So this one I'm using here is very simple, it's free, called Video Maker. Sometimes they advertise that you have to pay, but you just click the, the little X on the top, you know, take off that screen, go back, and it's free. They keep advertising that you have to pay, but you keep going back a page and you keep doing for free. And there are others as well. This one is good because very simple, easy to, to, to teach, easy to learn, right? Because you're going to be teaching things with your English classes. You're already going to teach unless the person is too slow. But if, if as I said, you're going to do the best you can because you need these students, right? Parents, grandparents, or, or themselves, right? You need these people. They're ready. There is better for them to be with their own married sons and daughters than alone at their community, right? Because there are others there already. So the best you can, you have the family united. Who? The parents and one grandparents, okay? All right. Also, take any phone from the wall, any internet cable, because you're going to use internet on cell phones. You're not going to use internet on a computer. So take all the wires out. You know, these wires hanging around or outside the um, satellite, you know, these antennas. Sorry, not satellite, antennas, right? Connected to satellites, nothing that's needed. Everyone going to use internet from their phone. If someone needs, pay for them. If you don't have at your work office, pay, pay internet. You pay is very cheap and everyone gonna use that internet you already have. Okay? So do that one way or another. Uh, how many people you need? Because you know, maybe it's better already pay for everyone, right? For the building, I mean, for the property. But if you're moving in two weeks, one or two weeks until you get this new rental, right? Of course, you're gonna wait, right? Just be reasonable according to reality. Makes sense, right? Everything. Just think a minute. We are giving all the basic guidelines and the details you're going to see. If it's better wait a few days or not. If it's better pay for one person or another. Or if it's already better to pay for the whole building, the property, right? So everybody's going to have internet on cell phones and not... Computers installed with cables and also no phones on walls. Great. For fire extinguisher, keep them until end of December. Keep them because you don't know. Might be someone weird, right? That you don't know. Keep it. If you already have, you keep. If you don't have, don't buy new ones. We don't need them, right? But if you have, keep it. Take the dust out, make them neat. All right, great. It's forbidden to have huge things for birth in lounge rooms. You know, some companies have these huge murals with birthdays, um, names. No, make one list. Very simple. After you already know who is the 10 department directors and everybody working at that place, you know, because you have to see 10 couples, already 20 people working. You need more or that's plenty, right? That's another thing you have to be reasonable, right? Okay, so already have the mural with the most important things. Birthday, it's okay, it's important to have a piece of paper birthday. What else you need? For now, nothing else. Take off already all these rules and guidelines for your country because everybody already should know about them and you should pay Get the receipt that they are up to date, that they don't owe you, the owner, don't owe them anything. If you're laying them off, you have to lay them off anyways, right? 
or if they can ask for to be resigned from position. Yes, they can do it. Make whichever agreement is the easiest. You know, and already offer them. You're the owner. If you don't have much money to pay them according to your account, some countries charge too much. So already make an agreement with them. Look, this is how it is. I have 20, I have 200 employees. I have to lay all of you off. If I lay everybody, I don't have enough to pay everyone. So if you already own your house, please resign. You know, you already make a proposal, be objective, pay attention. You spend a few minutes making a good plan, already make a proposal. Say, look, that's the only way we're going to make this happen. And people that do not have a house under their name, they are the ones going to get the money, right? Because you have to pay something to somebody, right? If you have money in account, of course, right? So just be reasonable and honest, Oh, you can pay the 200 employees, the 2,000 employees. Okay, pay them all. If you can't, all right, can't. And for machinery, the same way, if you're not 100% sure that that place is not going to be used anymore, wait, clean up everything else. Leave it neat, organize until more rules and guys are going to come. Lay off everybody. Because some companies are going to need, you're going to need synthetic clothes. You're going to need and a lot of it, you know, for people to use for special days because th their color lasts forever. We're going to need cotton clothes. We're going to need labels for clothes, you know. So if you're not 100% sure, just clean everything, lock everything, change the locks because you have machines there, right? And wait look for all instructions, didn't find anything, that's okay. Make your YouTube video and explain. I'm keeping these machines because these machines can make this and that and I didn't find anything yet that is not uh, to keep it. But for example, if you produce family cars, that you're already sure you don't need that, right? But if you produce trucks, small trucks, or bigger vans, you wait, you wait, okay, because we're going to need very strong vans to be used this 20 years, right, carts, we're going to need carts for people in the future, they're going to fish, they're going to do things, we're going to use carts and not family cars anymore, so you just have to be reasonable, if we already gave an old instruction for something, but things change, wait, wait again. But if your company make um, flip-flops, make Crocs, make make social shoes, male and female, or make uh, sandals or boots, right? Yes, keep them. And wait. All right, keep what you have, okay? All right. The other thing, this is for videos. When you're making your videos, you keep looking. If you're using Video Maker, this, this app, you know, you look. When you slide the button to make it longer, to make your video, look the minutes because, you know, you already know exactly where you have to come back instead of going slowly and looking. All right, we're going to give more instructions afterwards. If you didn't understand what I just said, it's okay. All right, so let's say a few more words about your YouTube account, your business. All right, you already have the title, you already have this playlist called Two Days Emptying Out and Cleaning Up. We're going to change the word so it's really clear. Emptying out means take off what's not good and cleaning is the washing day, okay? All right. You already have that playlist before, during, and after. Done. That includes the documents of your employees, the agreement that they accept this and that, whichever was your proposal. But remember, you have to be honest. If you have money on a bank, do it. What you're going to do, how you're going to do, and help them. You know, because some people in some countries, they get very little pay. They don't have food. Remember, you're laying them off, right? Some companies have 2,000, 4,000 employees. Some are huge, right? 
mines and place people that work far away, fishery boats that go and come back once a week, once a month, right? You have to be honest according to your reality. And if you have many properties, sell them as fast as possible, get the money and help those employees. Get them a house or get them a food basket, right? For the week, but help them the best you can. And also ask other people, other employees, because maybe they have extra money in a bank. Can you help? What's the most important? Some grains, that's the most important. Beans, black beans and lentils. Because the rest, if they get, and that lasts forever, anywhere in any country, warm or not, the only thing they can't have is humidity or bugs, right? Uh, Bugging the, the, the bag, Right? But if they're clean, you know, and sealed bags, right? They last forever, for, for a few years. So if they need, they use. If they're having meat or eggs, then they don't use. But that's the least you can help is some food for these people that are not coming back. Right? Because some get two, four buses to get to job, to their work. So, for sure, they're not going to be one of these 10 department directs, or you're not going to teach English for them. They live too far away, right? Okay, so do the best you can. What you can do? Give a check, give money, give food, food to be delivered straight to their house. Talk to them. Everybody have a different reality. So, who has a house? Okay, you stay here, this group. Who does not have a house? Here. Who has money in a bank? Here. Every good thing you do, you, the owner, are going to get your points. And everything they also agree, according to your reality, you're going to get points. You have to get your bank statements. Go to the bank. Ask to print them out. What? Every single year since you open. You know, at least 10 years. Get, go to two banks, three, four banks. Go, ask, print it out. Because that's another thing you need. Another playlist is accounting. Your taxes, payments to their employees, the last agreement made, how many you had, who you had. They signed, they wrote their names and signed on the front with their address under that name. Another line with their address. Okay? It's called a playlist for accounting. All right, the taxes, the copy of the most important pages or old pages, if you have everything, more points you're going to get for showing all your documentation, for not hiding anything. Go to the government, ask copies for this, ask copies for that, get organized, print them all, and don't throw any way accounting. And employees, you don't throw any paper away. You bring them home. You're gonna, you live far away, for example, from the company. You're gonna go back, and you're not keeping papers there. Bring it home, and then you have two, four days to do that after the two days washing. Everything is washed in two hours or in one day. Great, and then you're gonna focus in accounting. Then you're gonna start new things. You know, have these 10 best couples, start the English classes. You're not going to start things new if you didn't finish the accounting. It's too bad. Call who can help you. Sit on a computer the whole day until you finish. Have short breaks for lunch, you know, or bathroom and focus on that computer. Don't throw the computer away if you have information there, right? Okay, but it's very important, all the bank statements, all the taxes you did under that business, the business license, don't throw that away, nothing of that, keep in a box, right, or in a folder, depending on reality, some people have a tiny office, don't do much, some people have huge companies, right, your employees folders, right, Don't throw them away. Keep them until... Everything you need really properly done. Okay. Now you have two different reports. All right. You have the two days clean up, right? 
that is the emptying out with clean up, that's one report, you know. Then you have the report of what you did, you know, in your company, right? That's part of this two days clean up. What you did, about how many customers, a year, everything put in a year. From January 1st to December, because some places open only for summer, some places open only for winter. It's a, it's a lot of different things. You're going to do report per year from January 1st to December in any country. Okay, even skiing, stations or beach houses for rental, whichever is your business. Okay, all right. So what are you going to do? You're going to, as a business, right, that you did anything, even if you rent a, an apartment, a house, a room for someone else, you have to put at your own family. If you have a license, then it's a business, it's a license. Okay, all right, so when you open, how many employees you have, oh, you have a cleaning lady once a week or only on summer, right, or every day, or many janitors, what did you have? Everything needs to be on this report, okay, of your business. The accounting is separate because that is involves people, life, right, if they were honest or not, if they pay according to their country or not, right, because some people, they abuse others, they pay nothing, they're millionaires and they pay nothing to the employee. They don't care. They give the least as possible just to don't go to jail. Other than that, they're really mean and useless. So we have to be useful. We have to be kind. We need dignity in our practices. So it's two different reports for money, account, employees. That's another report, okay? All right, when is the business for activities? We did that, you know, we got all about uh, this much of money per year, we spend about this. That's okay, you can put on that report. But everything related to employees and accounting, taxes, another report, okay? For money, all right, everything related to money. If you pay insurance, health insurance or not, Okay, because on the future, all these things going to count. How care you were. You know, you, you help them with teeth treatment or not. You know, what did you help them, right? Okay. No first aid kit. That's not needed. People are going to have water. And if something happened on a garden or something, put a little toilet paper with water done. They go home, Okay. Because you're going to see the dirt you're going to buy. You're going to sift the dirt. If they come in trucks, make sure they have no trash on them, no pieces of glass, right? You're going to make a research or buying bags, whichever the best you can. Go to the farm. You're going to buy from a farmer soil for these new gardens. Go look and dig. All right, I'm sorry, I can only buy that or have it even for free if I check here because you don't want to bring trash to your property, you know, your work property, right? Can I check? Yes. It's chicken manure, it's, it's cow manure, what it is, what's in there, right? Okay, so you check before you transport that soil. That's the most basic, okay? All right, great. If your distribution center for food, linens, and clothes, you know, the or shoes, it's not to keep producing, producing. Do your cleanup properly, right? And get only 10 couples. That's it, 10 couples, because you need to have more information. We need to fix the clothes we have. We need to focus on garden planting and not keep making more clothes, more clothes. We already have thousands of clothes. We just have to share, right? Who has clothes? Some people we already have too many. Okay, so until August, don't keep making more, 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 more. No, 
because to make more, we're going to be ready with the new rules and guidance. So lay off everybody. Just keep 10 couples. To do what? To be checking, looking, to be studying. Okay, you're going to produce clothes. Great, but you don't need 200 employees or 2,000 employees. No, you're just going to get these 10 couples until you have more guidelines, right? If you're in a country that really need clothes, such as Africa, some countries in Asia, that's okay, but not in China, not United States. You understand what I mean? We already have too much. You can't even fit so much we have. Make a break. So it's reasonable. You just have to see what's reasonable. If you're going to keep making clothes, shoes, linens, towels, and mini towels, kitchen towels, you already have to do the proper rules and guidelines. Only plain, solid colors and not black. Okay? Then it's okay. Then you keep producing. But for everything else, you have to make a break. Right? You're not making more until you have all the details on how new one's going to be. All right? So, if you believe that you're in an area that's really going to be useful, uh, school color shirts um, in cotton so they can breathe, people are not going to die because it's so hot, right? Synthetic clothes, plain, not plaid, right? Not stripes, not too many different colors, plain, that's okay, right? All right, so if you really, so you're going to get what? You're going to get these 10 couples, they're going to start organizing, listen to the videos we made, right? So give, give a month, you know, tell your other employees, look in a month, we're going to be ready to tell you if it's going to be open or not until August, or if we're going to open only in January for proper rules and guidelines, okay? So, do what is reasonable, because you don't want to produce things that, you know, nobody's going to buy, because it's going to be out of authorization, okay? If you produce bleach, yes, keep doing bleach, vinegar, nothing else is needed. Unless you are in Africa, Asia, yes, they need more cleaning products. You understand? What type of cleaning products? This bleach, soap, detergent for clothes, and vinegar. Not of this, one for window, one for that, one for this, one for this. Like United States, like this. You have 20 products and places are dirty, right? Some are clean, of course. Thanks God, right? Some places are clean, people are careful. So it's not about the country. It's about some people, some building, one beside the other. One is very clean, the other is very dirty. It's about people. Some people care, some people don't care. Some countries also, you know, they you know like some countries they wash everything, soap and water, everything's clean. And some countries they have carpet, they don't even move the furniture around, you know, it's dust all over. But anyways, you just have to be reasonable. But basically, that's only what we need. If your country have these toilets, like some countries, like India, you know, you're going to need a lot of bleach, vinegar, disinfecting these products. That's 99% that kills bacteria, right? Okay. So if you produce, for example, medication... Ivermectin is authorized until December, so we don't need more than that because some people, some population, that's what they're going to have. Ivermectin for two years or four years. Because we know people that take a lot of sun, they don't have worms, but they need the basic hygiene. And some people have lice, some people have worms. Ivermectin take both out right away. Okay, and then people need to boil their underwear, wash their clothes every week, really properly, hang on a sun or on a dryer. So, if you produce dryers, for example, get these 10 couples, right? If they're good on it, 
right? To make the best washers and the best dryers ever. If you produce stoves, flat stoves, that the one we need, unbreakable flat stoves, all right? Get the 10 best people to make the most, the strongest ones, because we're going to get bids. Who is the best, right? You're going to show your product. So if you want to do that, go ahead. What's the best refrigerators? They're going to last forever. What are they? The most objective washers. We don't need all these digital washers. They break one thing, nothing else will work. We need the most manual as possible. So they will last for many decades. So get the best couples, engineers, producers, whichever is your reality, electricians, right? For the electric parts of those things, because those things we're going to keep having. The stove, the refrigerator, the washers, dryers. But we also need clotheslines, clothespins, wooden clothespins, right? Because they last much longer than the plastic ones because they crack with the sun. So, according to your reality, you have to think smart. Take one or two months off for everybody else. Just keep coming. The 10 couples and their parents, right? The grandparents. Okay? Or you have someone we live too far away. Okay, hurry up. Buy a house close by. An apartment. The best is an apartment, right? Move everyone for the, the same community. Even better. The closest community. Already sell the homes. One live here. The other there. The other here. Move already to an area where it's cheap, easy. That is close to the company uh, property. Or just... Uh, sell the company if possible, already move or buy another one that's close by for everyone, okay? Now, remember that everyone needs to live until one, up to one kilometer away from this property. If it's the property you are right now or the property you move into, you have to remember that, okay? All right. So, if you're doing any clothes, shoes, any of that, you have to be 100% sure it's good, it's right, it's positive, plain colors, right? Any shoes, two colors only, and dark. Or if it's white, it have that, uh, like, fake leather, like plastic, that people can wipe off, okay? All right. Only if you believe that in your continent, really, really need. You know, I guess all, all continents already have shoes, even Africa. So you have to see what's going on, how to go on, because you don't want to lose, you know, points doing what's not needed. Okay? All right. So everyone for sure, who they're going to have? Ten couples that will be the ten department directors for all business that's authorized. And their parents with them right the grandparents right okay so we're gonna have 20 couples for sure every business is gonna have 20 couples and they're also gonna work help each other you know according to what they can help right okay if you the owner remember if you were the owner for more than one year you're not two years. You're not going to be the, the 10 department directors again, the owner again, right? You can be the grandparents if you're old, or you can be uh, go to another business, but you're not staying there as the owner again, right? You have to remember that. Two or four years, let's put four. If you already were doing, you know, owner uh, or manager, you know, special manager for four years, all right, go do something else, or you move, right? It's like if you're a principal, school principal, you're not going to be school principal again, right? Makes sense, let's give opportunity to others, but it's okay if you move to another location that need a school uh, principal, right? If it's no one, if you find one, it's, it's fine, go ahead. All right, you just can't double four years. If you already were a leader for four years, all right, let's for these two years now, you know, two and a half years, let's have somebody else, right? 
So we are already getting ready now. The conference will be done in August 2023. So now it's April 2023. We are getting organized. So stop production if you're not 100% sure. But if you're doing synthetic fabric, it's okay. Synthetic clothes, one color. It's okay. You know, but not these crazy dresses with all these details. No, you, you know, a simple, basic thing. The synthetic one, you have to remember, going to be really hot. This synthetic clothes is like special dresses to go night. Not fancy, crazy ones. No, simple. You know, for people to, to go to work in cooler days, right? Because it, the, the, the synthetic lasts for a long time. But don't make too much. Stop production and wait details, okay? All right. Remember, no one can have family car, no buses picking people up, no vans pick, picking up people, okay? That's very important. The other thing I didn't say, no stickers, no stickers. If you're a supermarket, no stickers. Or if you're a post office, no stickers anymore. Use a marker. If you're a butcher, butcher place or supermarket, cutting meat, use a marker. Put a date right there, okay? If you're a regular store or a thrift store, no coats. Thick coats, no. Sweaters, okay, but not this crazy thick sweater. Everyone already has their sweaters. Please take them all out. All right? Now, black. It's forbidden to have black shirts and black sweaters. All right? It's forbidden. The only exception is above the line of New York if the person does not have a clear one. Even gray is okay, because we don't want people in black again. Black, we don't see if it's clean, if it's dirty, we don't see people in the dark. It's not to use black. People can only use black sweaters above New York line if they don't have any other. All right? And, you, of course, you have to be honest with yourself. Throw away the black and keep the others. Any other color is fine, but not black or dark purple, because we can't see. Okay, these very thick coats made out of, of leather, you know, from animals, very expensive. Use them to take dust, you know, cut them small to flip them around. You know, these mops, these long mops like they use in Brazil, some other countries, South America, these wooden ones. All right, make them with a little string to fit, you know, so you can quickly sweep the floor if you don't have a soft broom. It's me and the toy to have a soft broom. That's the most basic. And a dustpan that works, right? Not cracked, not broken. That's the most basic. Some people don't have a soft broom because they never swept. They, you know, it's always janitors doing. They never sweep their own office, their own place. So it's the most basic is to have a soft broom, whichever type it is, the long one, the short one, whichever needs to be soft, right? And you need something to mop that works, not these huge, you know, um, buckets that you squeeze right there. We don't need that. We need proper fabrics that we can easily put on a machine. So, use the best right now, and then we're going to give more information, but not those buckets, like Rubbermaid, you know, that we squeeze the thing there, we're not using that, and we're not going to use Swiffer. So, today is April the 4th, we're not going to use Swiffer, because it can't handle uh, a hand towel with soap, water, it gets stuck, Right? But to take dust for these two days clean up, it goes on corners. Yeah, that works under the fridge, it works. But then we're not keeping that. As soon as you buy the other one, you throw that away. To work, everyone gonna work with shorts, respectful shorts, going until the middle of their knee. Okay, when they stand up, it's gonna be, you know, about a little bit... Uh, maybe two centimeters below the top of the knee, because when they sit, remember, you know, it goes up a little bit. 
but it's okay because we're not going to have transparent table tops everyone gonna be working wooden tables or folding tables so that's fine because when you sit down you know it goes up a little bit the shorts that's fine but long for males and females who gonna wear pants only school principals and school teachers fifth grade and older everyone else just to show respect right but everyone else up to fifth grade when i use shorts that's fine for everyone right that's fine we need sun we need fresh air women need to shave their legs and use as soon as possible their permanent hair removal men need to do their beard they can leave a little beard trim on the sides, okay, but they have to really do the neck part and the, the, the cheeks part, you know, and always use the hard shaver, number one, you know, to, to trim, it's not to have huge beards or spread beards all around, that's not right, okay? Men is to have short hair without earrings. Right, women can have very small earrings up to two centimeters long. Okay, every married couple need a, a ring, golden band, not with diamonds or keep saying how expensive it was or this or that. No, simple golden band. The grandparents that already raised their kids and they all graduated, okay, they can have an extra ring. All right. Or a pretty bracelet, that's okay, all right? Not to keep saying how much it was, but something different. That means they already graduated their kids. People that didn't have kids, of course, they can't have that. They're just going to have the golden, even that they're old. They're just going to have the golden regular wedding band. So until December, it's forbidden to rotate. Couples gonna have their job, they're gonna do that every day, the same exact thing. Every single day. So people that finish their work early, according to reality, you're gonna already tell them what to do. Where they're gonna do? They go to the garden, work a bit more the garden. Or if it's just one hour left, their garden is in the afternoon, their class outside is in the afternoon, that's okay. So that one hour left in the morning, for example, they're going to help someone else, right? Where's the busiest place so they can help each other, right? They're not going to sit or work too slow because they don't have much to do and someone else have a lot to do. They're going to finish their work fast. Everyone's men the taught to work fast. Walk fast, not to run, but walk firm and fast. Do things fast, paying attention. If you hold something, hold strong, pay attention, right? And that couple going to help another couple, right? Whichever is your reality. is the cashier, what you need, how you need, what you need, all right? So this way, people outside having classes is the only people outside having classes. Unless they have nothing else to do, that's fine. They go help in the garden. There's always something to do in the garden. More planting, more caring, more watering, right? Swift the dirt that came. You don't know if you have pieces of glasses or not. Or build another garden bed or get more containers ready because food is going to be planted in garden beds and also containers, right? Or make them research something according to a region, how to plant this or that. Or they already go to these outside living rooms and study. Get their flashcards, their note, notebooks, no. Notebooks only with their teachers, right? Okay, but flashcards authorized. Everybody's authorized to have flashcards to bring home. It's forbidden to have a purse or a wallet at work, okay? And they cannot leave the property. It's forbidden to leave the property. All right, during this, it's to eat there, do everything there from early in the morning, about 7.20 in the morning, until 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and then they go pick up their children, grandchildren. 
So, supermarkets, thrift stores, clothes stores, not to have carts anymore. Only baskets for eight weeks. That's it. Eight weeks baskets. You know, because in eight weeks, plenty for people to purchase food straight to their clubhouses. Right? So, only baskets for eight weeks. The carts gone, all the carts gone. We're gonna keep some carts. We're gonna keep some carts. Keep some carts if you have those carts. Because in the future, we're gonna say which one you're gonna need, right? They some are very durable. Don't throw them away. Keep them, you know, in a place um, that is not for customers to use, but in the deposit room, wash them. With soap and water, because some are very dirty, dusty. You know, some, some customers have dirty hands. So, bring them outside, wash with soap and water, put vinegar or bleach on the handle, disinfect them well, rinse, let it dry for a few minutes, and bring them inside right away. Okay, they finish drying the fan inside. Okay, and wait for instructions until December 2023, we're gonna let you know what which cards we're gonna keep, which ones we're not, right? Because we're gonna use them in the future. That's what we're gonna use. Okay. So if you're a farmer, all the details for animal farming, grain farmers already posted online for grain. What we did not say is that you can wait for the harvest and finish everything. Bring the tractors, everything closest to the seed as possible. They will use to clean up rural areas, right? Uh, remodel the soil. Ready, leave your farm clean, organized with, with trees planted. You know, if you're not close to the, to the beach, 40 kilometers, 80, up to 80 kilometers to the beach, if you're in the center of the country, ready, plant some trees, I rate the soil really well, plant some native trees that are not fruit or seeds. So, because we don't want to have animals inside the continent anymore, right? So, but other trees, already plant them, you know, one meter tall, already plant, do the best, make the lines like we already show, the same as we're doing for deserts, make the lines streets for uh, carts, watering, trucks, and streets for tree planting, okay? And for animal farming, we already gave all the instructions already there. Pray first, and then you, you, you send them out. It's forbidden to have this sign open, closed. You're going to be back five minutes, ten minutes, twenty minutes. Oh, forbidden. Or have a clock that you turn around, forbidden. Time to open and close is the same the whole year, except for holidays. Done. Okay? Very important. So, already get the sign and put in front of your building. We are open this, that. Open and close. That's the time. And everyone close from noon to one. Every single place in all countries. Everybody already know. Why? Because everybody needs to eat lunch. They can't be on the phone, talking, answering questions. All right, so you're going to take the wall phone away from the wall, right? With wire and everything. And then in the front of your store, you're going to put the number of the cell phone you're going to use just for that. You're going to be the store number, right? Okay, you put the number there. And you can live for up to four weeks. You can live one sentence in your own language, right? We are working, we agree, and we are working for the peace and love organization. And from today on, and then you say the day, everything going to be in English, right? That's it. That's it. After that, everything you're already going to say in English. Press 1 for this, press 2 for that, press 3 for this, press 4 for that, okay? All right. So, the sentence we said is the only sentence you can say in your own language for up to four weeks, no more. Put the date there. 
All right. After that, you just record the new message. And this cell phone you're going to be using for the business. It's going to be locked at night inside the cabinet and the door of the office will be locked as well. So it's forbidden to deal with money. No cash of any type, no coins, no paper money. From now on, this note is not everything going to be in. Debit card only. So these two couples that at the front or at the gate don't even let people come in the store, right? Or supermarket outside the door. They're ready to say, Do you have a debit card? Okay, so you can come in. You don't. All right, sorry, bye bye. You're gonna be polite, you're gonna be respect. Say now, this is our rules and guys, you need a debit card because you're gonna stop people. Getting money, don't even know where the money comes from, right? We need to, people need, we need to see where people are using money. Some people use money in things that are useless, right? Okay, let's give value to people that use money wisely. They have a savings account, right? For what? For a good apartment, for a good vacation. It's important to have savings account in peace points in the future. All right, so the rotation, when people finish their job, I forgot to say, they're going to help someone else, you know, do the best you can to already, for them to help someone of their own family. Grandparents going to help the parents, or parents going to help the grandparents, you know, you're going to already figure out for them to be close by all the time, even for the outside English classes and gardening. Why? Because sometimes the grandparents don't know much how to use the cell, cell phones so the parents are there to help or in English or you know they're already gonna know how their parents are doing with the English they're gonna help them sit close by right instead of having them inside the other ones outside no they're gonna be together the parent couple gonna be together with the grandparent couple okay that live with them, not the other one, the one that live with them. And they're going to do the exact the same thing every single day. Okay, until 9 you do this, until 10, for example, for working, right? Inside. Until 10 you do that, until 11 or 12, or the whole morning you're going to do exactly the same thing. Right? If it's teaching, that's what it's going to do. If it's outside, if you're inside. People are going to do the same thing every day, exactly the same. You're not having rotations until December. This is after two years. People are supposed to do one thing. They're going to focus on that one thing. If they're already tired, so they don't get that thing to do. They teach someone else how to do that. For example, cashiers. If you're already tired being cashiers, you're not going to be cashiers now. Do stocking, right? Something else. But you have to get the same job for two years, so pay attention what you're going to be getting. According to your reality and also according to your government, the country right now. For example, you're going to teach preschool. Some countries, they ask already for bachelors, completed with diploma. Some other countries, you do 40 hours and that's done. You can teach preschool. So you have to follow the rules and guidance of your own country until August when we're going to have our launching day. That's one thing. The other thing, you're going to do something according to reality that you're going to keep for two years, two and a half years, because we're in April now. So it's two and a half years, right? A little more than two and a half years. So, if you did not have babies, for example, if you're going to have more babies, all right, so already go work in a preschool, right? Because if you're going to get pregnant, or if you're already pregnant, you're already going to work, cause, so you can have your baby and teach your baby and be right there while you work, you can, can have fun with your own baby, right? So, if according to reality, you have to see what you like to do. You know, and be in that area. You cannot change, you know, too much. But for preschool, you can. If 
If you work in a supermarket, in a store, you're going to have baby. All right, go to preschool is the most reasonable. If you, if you have children in elementary, go work at school. Makes sense. They're already there. Unless they don't have job positions anymore, but you can apply. Hurry up. Right? It makes sense. Help with something. Gardening, PE classes, right? Or math or outside games, whichever it is. Knitting, right? What they call clay modeling, uh, sewing, all these things, sewing clothes, making soap detergents, right? That's a lot of jobs at schools. Yeah, so the improvement here. Baskets for supermarkets and stores up to eight weeks only. They bring their own reusable bags for eight weeks and they can use the basket of the store for eight weeks. But no carts. The carts you're going to wash and put on the back. All right, very good. If you have an employee that you were not paying properly, go ahead and find that money. Pay people properly. Even that one year, two years already passed, pay them. So you don't get consequences of taking off the double or four times the points out of your own account as a person, as an owner. Okay, so if you have a person where you didn't pay properly according to your law, or as I said, more than 40 hours, go ahead and pay that person. Check or figure out or do an estimate the best you can so it won't pay consequences negative consequences afterwards. All right, so for example, if for these two days emptying out and cleaning at the same time, or one more day for washing or one more day for accounting, all right, be reasonable, right? If you live far away, this company is far away, people don't have family cars, how are you going to stop at supermarket, maybe not even a supermarket close by? Yeah, people need to bring a little something, a transparent plastic bag with a little container of food. One cup of salad, not to bring meat or chicken, okay? All right. All right, and then in two days, two more days or four more days, that's it. You should already have time. One of the couples go to the supermarket. You need to get the bus, go to the supermarket and buy the basics I said. Kale, spinach, uh, uh, tomatoes, orange, right? And beets, the basic. You know, whichever you have at your own country. If you're a business, you can only keep a small English dictionary if... These couples have no cell phone yet. It makes no sense. You just have read installed there on their phones. That's the basic. You know, the, the Google Translator for all countries. That's the one I'm going to use. Google Translator. All right. Schools is different because the children, teens, don't have cell phones. So they are going to use dictionaries. Right? For some words, if the teachers are not experts yet... Yes, they can use, you know, a few for the whole school, right? They can share, so every four classes can share, right? Keep them, I don't know, maybe in a corridor, right? Until they have proper capable teachers that speak English that can translate everything they need and write on a baseboard, teacher's board, blackboard, or green board. All right, for Business owners, the main thing is to help each other. Be kind. Just keep that. Be kind and have dignity. So you're laying off 20 or 2,000 employees. Be kind and have dignity. I repeat, be kind and have dignity. Do the best you can. Sit for a moment. Need two hours to sit and plan what you're going to do, need four hours, you have 2,000, don't do things in a hurry, plan properly what you're going to do, what you can do, what's the best you can do, okay, and of course have a meeting with them, you know, and 
get groups of people. I, I don't know every hundred. If you have two thousand, probably you know you have what an auditorium or a school close by. I don't know, but you need to talk to them. They need to see you or make a video. So the idea of going to another location is not good. Make a video, showing your face, you talk and dress properly. You know, put the a suit or put a, a social shirt and talk to them. Look, this is, my name is this, because some people don't even know who is the owner. They don't know, right? I'm going to say, or we, we are the owners of this company. You know, we got the notes from the Peace and Love Organization, which we agree. And, and be happy, because this is good for humanity. Be happy about not, oh, I'm so sorry, I have to lay you off. No, I'm laying you off, thanks God. I'm laying you off for us to be even better for this humanity, okay? All right, so, and then you already plan, you already decide, you already talk to other owners, and then you're ready to say a few words. Record your video and send to their email, send to their phone, right? Okay, send the link so they will have that information. All right, and already tell them what you decide. We decide that for everyone, we're going to pay the same exact amount for people that own their house and the same amount people that do not own their house, for example. Or you also can say we're going to pay exact the same amount for every employee. Why? Because some people spend everything what they don't even have and some people really save money a lot, and they deserve to have, you know, the same amount. Okay, so you're going to see according to reality. Are you going to pay more to older employee, um, staff members and less for newer ones? So just make the best you can. What's the most reasonable? Be kind and have dignity. Be kind and have dignity. All right, one thing I forgot to say is about tape. You know, keep some tapes. You need tapes, right, for a sign for people, a sign with the notebooks for English notebooks going to be, or for cleaning products, or for food of this and that, or for the hydration cabinet, right? You need keep printing paper, keep a printer, forgot to say, Keep one or two computers, all right? Because those, and purchase your cameras. That's important for the study area, for the food gardens, for the entrance, for the sides and the back of your building. Even then, nobody's going to come in or out. You need cameras, movement cameras. You know, to record only when it's movement and in color and with sound detection. All connected to two cell phones. The, the main manager and the assistant. In case of school, the school principal and the assistant principal, okay? Two cell phones. You know those apps, those companies? All right. For cleaning products and stain remover for clothes or carpets, keep them all. They're going to be useful. Carpet uh, cleaning products, yes, keep them, because you're going to cut them, you know, homes with carpet, going to cut them and make rugs. Keep those chemicals, because you're going to use them, okay? And for rust, you know those products that take rust away from clothes, from... Cement, keep them, we're gonna need them, all right? But probably you don't need products for brass, products for silver, you know, what we're gonna use with silver. All the silver you already give to Jewel because he's the one that knows, we already gave instructions what he can do with it if the silver is good quality. Because even toothpaste can clean silver, right? But we already posted a video about silver last year. If you don't have a clock machine, don't worry. Everyone going to sign in, sign out at the same time. And if someone miss work because they're sick or 
traveling out of the day, you know, they're out. They cannot be the department directors. We need people that are not exhausted, that they are happy, they are feeling great about this new job, that enthusiastic. Not people that are sick or unhealthy or exhausted. All right? That's the other things you need to know. All right, the other thing, uh, it's for places that have animals or insects, such as uh, butterfly properties, right, for exhibitions and zoos and circuses that use animals, safaris, uh, or even for recovery. All those places you have to kill your animals. We don't want animals to be laying around. We're not going to let them free, as we said before, right? Even that they are on their environment. They were in captivity, so probably they're not going to survive anyway. We don't want them to give giving trouble to other people. So you have to kill them. Do prayers and kill them. Very simple, all right? So if their meat is good, such as safaris, if, if you're giving them meat, if the local residents will eat, send them to proper butchers to kill them as every other animal, mammals, right? Cows and sheep and pigs, right? Okay, you just use bone sense, good sense, okay? All right. So, all those places, because if they were alive, the food was good, not too bad. Just choose the best meat, right, according to reality, and send them. Or places that have all these dolphins, all this, yeah, eat. Or bring them to the gardens. You have to crumble them up, right, to become bacteria, but then... You have to be careful how you do that because you don't want to attract animals that you can't handle afterwards, right? So if you're going to put rotten meat for bacteria on the garden, what about raccoons and other animals that might come from that? So you have to be smart according to reality, you know, because we have many different realities. We have people living in the beach in big cities that is never even a raccoon there. Some people live in the mountains, some people live by the, the, the woods, right? Okay? Uh, use the meat for something, okay? Or incinerate the whole animal, okay? How many you have? You have five, you have 200, you have 400. So just be real, make a plan. You can have two days for planning, that's fine. Who gonna do what? Have a meeting with your staff members. Bring their spouses, or you or your employees gonna be will be enough for everything you do. You know, if you have danger animals that you don't know how their reaction gonna be, give them medication. But of course, have dignity. Don't sell the meat to sell for people to eat. If you give them painkillers just for them to be a little sleepy, for example. All right, you, you just have to be reasonable, okay? But if that's what you need to do, you make them sleepy, so for, for you to send them to the butcher, that's fine. Just do what you have to do, but then you tell, look, it's just to, to cut them. You cannot give because I gave this or that medication. Give a copy, right? You know, contact your veterinarian, what you can give, what you cannot give. All right, so probably... You know, it's just for them to get sleepy, so you can put them in a truck and send to the right location, the butcher, the incinerator. What you going to do? You have a gun, you have a rifle, you can already kill them, done. You know, just incinerate. Or people need food. Because mammals are mammals in all continents, right? You know, uh, why we can eat cows and sheep and we cannot eat dogs, for example, right? Or lions or zebras, okay? So we have to be reasonable. Do people eat? Do people need meat or not? Which continent? Because in Asia, in Africa, some people don't have enough protein. You have to, to think 
What you gonna do? Some people have too many in nature. So, use for the population that are hungry. Right? Or maybe you don't need. You have enough grains in your area. That's okay if you don't need. But if you need, you use. Or if you have a desert close by. All right, already. Cut them in pieces. Find the proper machine and already crumble them up and you know in the area that you can already bring them in pieces to already decompose you're not there get authorization which area you're gonna go by the highway this or that all right it's okay bring the pieces of meat crumble them up and bring already the tractors leave them alone there Right? You're not there. But if it's your own farm, don't bring rotten meat to your own farm just to plant trees. That's what I'm saying. You don't want other animals to come because of that smell. Alright? Okay, so just be reasonable for everything you do. And have everything in videos. And put on this YouTube account. Alright. For everything new... Starting new, you're going to need a records book and pictures and videos, everything again. So, that's another playlist, okay? But we're still talking about the first playlist, the cleanup. So, if your company, let's do all the accounting, a different playlist, okay? Because people can have 20, 40 playlists, so let's do separate, everything related to money, it's a, called accounting. So, money that came in. Here's a little improvement for what we said before. So, every money came in, in from customers. Every purchase you made. Payments to employees. Everything you spend, everything you received. Going to go in a different playlist of your previous business. Okay? The new business with these 10 people, they are going to make another YouTube account. It's not the same. The old one is going to be under your name. You know the explanation can have two paragraphs to put information. You're going to say this company was owned by first, last name, first, last name, everybody, okay? With city, address. Not house address, see the address of the place, country, okay? All right, if the country is not, for all countries, already put the continent, because some are hard, you know, just to be easy for people, you know, because we have, what, almost 200 countries, some countries are one island, where is that? In the Pacific, in the Atlantic, where? Okay, so just be reasonable. Put the continent, previous continent, how it was before, okay? All right, so for everything new, keep your receipts. That's part of the 10 new department directs. It might take two weeks for them to be in their position, yes, but already keep. You're buying the dirt, you're buying seeds, you're buying tools. What you buying? Locks, new locks, you're buying a little paint, not too much, a little bit, right? Okay, so get organized because they have to keep all their records and also have different playlists. One for everything related to money and points and one for their work, right? Garden work and um, uh, salads, right? Daily lunch salads. And for the chicken, if it makes sense for them to raise chickens for the eggs or not, right? Okay. And the English classes, who is this? Oh, this is our teacher, right? Okay. All right. So, when you're closing down, big or small company, you have to make two meetings with all your staff members, paid and volunteers. Two, two meetings, one. Okay, the Peace and Love Organization contact us, we agree with them, we have a lot to do. The first thing you have to do is empty out and clean, wash everything, have everything neat and organized. Done. Now we're going to say a few words about them. You know, as I already explained before, all of you need to be properly laid off. We're going to have only 10 couples and their parents here, right? 
and um, and and this is the agreement we can make so yes we do have some money and we're gonna share the best as possible it's not for everyone anyone to be upset because we're really doing the best we can right remember the video i told you make a video put online you have two days to do this planning don't know how to make a video figure out get a simple one video maker practice practice again and do it record yourself like we do ours okay or get one of the employees somebody in your company or your son your daughter or spouse someone might know how to do it you know make some something presentable dress properly make a beard shave off right cut your hair and have a presentable video to show you know how many you have 40 or 4000 employees right so be reasonable because some some places are huge if they count for example some grain companies they count from the farmers until their own office the owner's office oh it's a lot of people some companies are huge in different areas right okay so make it real because a video you know very fast you send to their email and you send to their phone numbers right and give them a break for them to, everyone to listen the video right and put the video for people to listen because you can't have meeting with everyone in person if it's too many but this way you can do it so when you make a video you know make sure you have objective points for what you're saying all right you don't have to record the whole video you know you get more points if you record your whole video showing your face you get much more points than this video in green that i'm doing now because voice people can change voice you know so you have to do properly the proper way is to show yourself with something on the back people passing or building not just some plants because plants all countries have plants you have to show the entrance the, the right way is the entrance of your property that you're talking about because some as i said some companies are huge they have the farmers they have distribution centers then they have the supermarkets and then they have deposit rooms they have the the distribution trucks they have their own offices they're huge so make one video for each or one video for everyone you know just plan properly get a notebook and plan the words or sit down on a computer don't answer the phone don't talk to anybody say i'm busy put a note at the door don't answer the door focus with the other owners what you're gonna say how you're gonna say how much you're gonna give how much you have available Pay your own bills first. If you own anything, pay that first. How much is left? Okay. Or make an agreement. People that you owe money, they already have millions of dollars. All right. Ask them for an agreement. Have a written agreement that you can print out with them signing. You do not have to pay us. You know, you talk to them. Say, look. I have many employees, I have to pay them money according to law, I have to pay money for them to have some food for the next few months, right? So you have to see, because maybe it's better make an agreement. If people that you owe already have money, okay, use the money you have to pay the employees some food, some dry food, according to reality, but that's really reasonable, right? Because not so expensive and everybody can survive a few months with beans. You know, because the greens, the dark green leaves and beets and carrots, you know, they're going to, to grow soon. They're going to harvest. Okay? All right. You also have to think where that money for the first seed, soil, tools, and garden frame and pots going to come from. going to come from donations. Or you are the one, you the owner are the one that needs some money for that, right? 
and then you're gonna donate to the new ten department directors, but and give even the receipt to them. But who has money to do that? Or you're gonna gather with this new ten and they figure out themselves, do a fundraising event themselves. So you have to see a cultural reality the best you can do. Always, always be 100% smart and 100% safe. You don't want anybody crazy throwing furniture around, you know, destroying things, or going to your house because they know where you live and want to kill you because you are not honest, or they believe you are not honest, they don't know, right? Maybe they think you have a lot of money, but maybe you don't. So be really clear, be really honest at this video, okay? And if you have to sleep in a hotel for safety, a week, two weeks, sleep in a hotel, a week or two weeks, that's fine. Not because you're disappearing. No, that's not dignity. It's just for safety precautions. Two weeks or four weeks in a hotel, that's okay. All right? Because you know yourself that you're really doing the best you can. All right? If you did wrong things in the past, didn't pay your employees properly, or whichever it is, as we are saying, after 40 hours, you have to pay one price and a half, one and a half price uh, value, you know, you have to say sorry, that's the first thing you have to, 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 to tell them, is be honest, say, I'm very sorry, I took care of myself, I went to have expensive vacations, and I should have paid you better. Be honest. You know, because you don't want to meet them on the street and, and, and be afraid they're going to hurt you because you're not honest or because they think you have a lot of money, but in reality you lost everything with something else. Okay? All right. What's the second meeting? So that's the first meeting, in person or in a video. Okay? All right. The second meeting is the one they're already going to sign the agreement the next day or next two days or so, right? If you have 20 or if you have 2,000 employees, they have to sign an agreement that that check that you're paying the best is to pay for everyone the same, right? If you have, what, $1,000, $500, how much you have to pay to everybody the same, that's the most reasonable, because I don't think you're going to have time to pay. Maybe you do, right? If you know your employees really well, who really work and deserve a bit more? Or who just who sat down and didn't do much? You can do that, or maybe a secretary, somebody can help. Maybe you can do that. Give more money to those that are really active, really working, really moving around. We're not on their cell phones all the time. We're not bringing water here, coffee there, and sitting down long breaks or breaks all the time, or smoking outside all the time. If you have, but you have to follow whichever you're doing, you follow with all of them. If you decide to do that, if it's to enter 2,000 and get people to help you, all right, go and do it. But then you have to do with everyone. Whichever you're doing, pay attention how you're doing. Okay? All right. So this second meeting is when they come. They have to come somewhere, right? An office or the main entrance room. Where, where you're going to meet them for them to sign that they agree with that. Okay, maybe you're not paying 100% of what the law asks in your country. Put that on the title. This is just 75% or this is 80% or this is 50% or what's required by the law of your own country. All right? So you have to be honest on this title. Okay? All right? Because we don't want to, to miss things and then somebody else is going to figure out or maybe one of your employees is going to tell the organization that you were not honest, so just do it properly. Have two days for planning. Get your accountant, you know, because not the only the money that you have in the bank, who you owe, right? Get the agreement, send the email, call, call them again, call one more time, right? Okay. 
Then you have to, this second meeting, they write their names, they sign under that, have a line with their complete address and the total amount they got. All right? Okay. Don't do percentage unless you need to do that by law of your own country because some people already have much more than others, right? You want to help the workers and not only the managers, the directors of your company. Okay, so you have the second meeting. Shake hands, say thank you so much at the video, that first meeting in person or that first video, whichever is your reality, the best for you. Be honest, you know, be kind, be respectful, use good words, right? Have a half smile on your face, you know, because all this counts. Be, be clear with your proposal, tell the time, be clear on the time. Everyone needs to clean their own work order, uh, work area by this day, this time. What's the time? Six o'clock, the gate closed. So it needs to be what? Till five, five forty, five twenty. Okay? Not at six or five to six. These two days clean up because six is to close the gate, the, 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 the gate of the, the property. Right? But before that comes many things. Make sure nobody's in the building. All this you have to check. And you have to purchase these locks on these first two days. You emptying out. You're just going to leave the computers there. Already drop off the laptops, the computers to schools or libraries, and then they're going to share, right? Clean up your computers, all the apps, everything you do. But wait until you print what's important first, right? And some previous pictures, some previous vi videos. Did you have meetings sometimes, such as um, uh, lunches or dinners or end of the year, or end of the semester, um, lunch or dinner with your employees? A little party, right? Or you never offer anything to them. All these things going to count in the future. So before you delete all the pictures of your computer, make sure you copy right, or send your email, right, and before you reset those computers to give to the school or local library, okay, all right, so when they leave, shake their hands, smile, say good luck, we start a new humanity, and that's a gift, you know, use good words, sing one of our songs to complete your video or your presentation in person, Okay, be thankful. Look their eyes. Look their eyes. As I said, some people don't even know who the owner is. Don't even know their name properly, right? Because they're not there. Or maybe they're there, but they never care to know who works there, who doesn't. They don't even know who is who. Some people is like that. They don't know who is who. All right, so here's an improvement. You know this, the stand new department directs and their parents, right, can bring their cell phones for eight weeks, maybe even more. We're going to tell you afterwards, okay? Because they're going to need that, make those videos of their classes to prove what they're doing. So let's do improvement here for this. And the partner directors and their parents, they bring their self until the end of December. Okay? Because they need to, to show a little bit about their work. They need to show a little bit about this outside class and games. Plenty and with games with it, right? Such as recognition game or, you know, other games. And their, their, their English class at the table. Okay? show the front of their building so they need to make these mini videos for them to do their own youtube account for this new life new moment so until december they do use a half of the day the other half need to be locked everyone put in a little basket you know a little plastic container box plastic box at the end of their their time right the period well, they pick it up 
because so they can use during the classes, right? And also show a little bit their work, everybody, what area you work. You work at the office, you work at the desk, you work uh, standing up at the front desk. I don't know, everybody have a different place, right? Okay, so keep your trash bags until we tell you what to do. And you know, if the trash of sweeping is bad, of course, get a little plastic bag and put the trash in, right? Not just dumping, uh, dumping objects, dumping uh, decoration objects, but not this little trash, okay? All right, if you need a little bag, that's fine, use a little bag. But the least as possible, for example, books don't need bag, objects don't need bag, okay? All right. The white plastic bags can be used for rain until people learn how to pray so it doesn't rain in case. Because some countries, rain is strong every single day during summer, okay? So you can use that as a raincoat, the white one, not the black ones. The black ones... Use what you can now and throw the rest away because we're not using that. The white ones you can keep. You know, put in slowly, put out slowly, just cut the side for the arms because water on the arms, it's okay, but you don't want people, you know, sick, right? Some people are not used even that the rain is warm. They're not used to. So make little vests, you know, of this plastic. And as soon as they have their, their back protected, because we're not stopping the garden work for rain. And if it rains, people go inside to learn English, right? They're not going to be outside. And they're going to pray, because pray works. So start practicing. You know, you try, you see that few look like going to rain, the clouds forming. Send the clouds away. How are you going to send the clouds away? Always in a rotation clockwise. To go to the ocean. And you can say, come back at 8 o'clock p.m. Or 8 of the night. 8 o'clock at night. 20 hours, right? Of this new hour we are going to use. Okay? The other thing is... Make sure you delete all the apps that are not needed. You are going, you English teacher, are going to go some, offer some cell phone classes. Go over, right? Delete everything. People are just going to keep the video maker, right? And everything else they take off. Facebook, how to say bye to everyone, Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, all these things say bye and delete them. If you, the teacher, someone else from the group already know how to disinstall their name, delete their name, their account, sorry, from those places, all right, spend one, two hours and do it. Okay, say bye to everyone first. We are the peace and love organization. We're really happy. We're going to clean up our work, start working this week. Okay? So, good luck to everyone, you know, and um, have a wonderful new life. Be positive and smile. Take a picture, selfie, right? Send, done. Okay? All right. And install all these accounts because more you do, better will be for points. Okay, got someone in your company, know how to do that, going to share, you know, going to teach that, it's okay. The main teacher is the English teacher, but of course you can have someone helping like this, you know, with cell phone guidance. Okay? So, if need, you're going to reset the phones, because some have so much advertising things, they don't work. Reset the phone. How to open a new account, a new email. That's another thing that's very important. New email for everyone, just for the organization. Say bye to everyone else. Before they say bye, they also have to give some 10 sentences, 10 links of our organization before they say bye. So other people would know, right? Everyone needs to do that. 
E mail the same way. Ten sentences and ten links. Before you say bye. Ok? To use your new email. Ok? At the garden, people sing all the time. You know, sometimes sing everybody together. Sometimes people sing a little bit. But they remember during the classes, you're going to practice, right? The songs. Already say the number of the song. And choose four. You know, for like two or four months, only keep four basic. Two months, only four. All right, and then you get four more. Okay, so you don't learn 10 at once, might be too much, even that they're short, you know, and some are going to improve them soon, all right, get the final version, because that's just the basic version, but the final version is going to come soon, so you need to do early in the morning, 7.20 or 7.40, two prayers, right, one couple each day, and four songs. All right, and then everybody go ready to get organized, start working or start classes outside. So, so busy, I don't know, but if I said, but the new 10 department directors are also going to have a playlist with accounting, everything related to money and peace points. Okay? All right. And, of course, they're going to have their records book with all details written. Okay? If you are an owner that have business in different cities or different countries, already decide where you're going to be. That's, you know, if you can move quick, move quick, no problem. But you, just to pass to these new 10 people. So you have to see what's reasonable because you're not, as I said, you're not going to be owner there anymore. You already were an owner. So... Go to the one that's closer to your house. Okay? Don't go far away because it's just for these two meetings, paperwork, and done. Right? Okay. For you to be really clear with all the accounting, you need the accountant to also sign that by law everything was done because that's the main thing. And then, by the Peace and Love Organization, if after 40 hours, if you paid your staff one and a half hour. And, you know, some restaurants, they, they get little paper hour, but they get a lot of tips. That's okay, but to be reasonable, how much they were getting after 40 hours a week need to be one and a half of the value. The other thing is, you know, for the employees, because a few things, you also can talk to them, right? Remember that everyone going to get a job for two and a half years, not to be changing around. Okay, that's very important. People are going to stay. Whichever they decide to do, they're going to do that for two and a half years, okay? Until the end of December 2025. Okay, because you don't want people to move, do one thing, and then do another, you know, and then they have a baby, and then they're going to move again. No, already focus in the area as the most reasonable culture background. What you study for? Hopefully, it's the one you like, right? Okay. The other thing is forbidden to cry for dead animals. Why is that? You know, people... Ate cows, treat them bad, they didn't care, you know, and now they're gonna suffer for zebras, for lions, you know, it make no sense, right? They didn't care about trash, they produce trash how much they want, they were consumerists, you know, they trashed the environment, now they're gonna be sad, upset, no, no room for that. Okay, and to eat the same way, if people need to eat, you need to eat, they're gonna need to eat, right? Okay, so actually, it's forbidden to be upset, it's forbidden to cry for dead animals. Are you gonna cry for a dog? What about the cows that you ate all your life? 
the sheep, right? The pigs you ate your whole life, how they were treated. You can't cry now for a dog or a cat or a reptile. They make no sense, right? So the other thing I didn't say, keep the tape, like masking tape, you know, yes, keep the tape. Oh, well, if you have a hundred tape, you know, maybe not keeping them all. But keep some for those signs, for customers, signs for your own workers, until people know, new location for everything, okay? All written reports of this two days cleanup needs to be done in English. And not even one sentence in your own language. You can only put the name of your business, right? So supermarket or st closed store, that's it. But even the word supermarket, not going to be in your language, going to be in English. Supermarket, okay? Or shoe store or clothes store, all right? Or shoemaker. And then the name, and your license number, everything. How many employees you have, how many volunteers you have, everything really clear and neat. The other thing is that when you're doing your videos um, for, for before the cleanup, you have to show trash bags, how many you have. They're very big, they're very small or not at all, you have too many, or you have just a very few, all these going to count in the future, you have to film them, can't ignore them, film corners, behind doors, okay, all these are important, I don't know if I said, let me say again, so your message in your cell phone, this new phone, Right, because you don't have the wall phone anymore. Gonna be one sentence in your own language up to eight weeks, no more. Okay, the one sentence I think I already said, right? The peace and love organization contacted us, we agree with them, you know, and this is our new number. And um, what else? We're gonna be open from this and that time. And from, from this day on, we can only speak English. Done. I think I already said that, right? And then press one for this, press two for that. Okay? All right. So you can have two knives at the kitchen, right? The, the bowls for salad, but no meat of any type in your freezer, send, donate, give, share, right? Clean freezers and not start with dirty freezers. Okay, so you're gonna buy fresh fruits, veggies, salad greens, roots, turmeric, ginger, all these things, okay. You're only going to have chickens at your property if that's really sustainable, if it really makes sense. All right, what store going to be there? How many people? You know, if you have space, that's fine. But you don't want the chickens to have no room, and then where are they going to put it at the food you're planting? That doesn't work, right? Chickens, good. They eat scorpions. They eat uh, baby snakes. They eat all these mini creatures. They're great. Have them. Even for worms, you know, for um, earthworms, they eat them. But it's okay because some are bad anyways. And it's forbidden to keep, it's forbidden to reproduce them, right? Because some are, pests, uh, some are parasites. They're not real earthworms, okay? So you don't want them. Have some chickens. How many can you afford? In your space, according to your space. 10 or 100, make chicken houses, go ahead, do it, because nobody going to move in a hurry. We're going to demolish the cities properly, yes we are, but we're going to do things properly. Not in a crazy hurry, very fast and organized, but safe, okay? Alright, so here is a little video of the basic rules and guidelines for department directors, these new couples you're inviting. Okay, all right, so here's the basic requirements and all the details, so 
it's it's about 60 items but some are combined you have to separate them all in alphabetical order print and give one to each family that you believe gonna be the winners and you're gonna use what you already post in 2022 it will be two weeks before meetings just for that okay so they have to practice which department direct they want to be you know the subject related to that department practice present without reading without looking you know two minutes right for each couple that they can say a lot and it's forbidden to talk english too fast we need to really articulate well so we want to become many dialects again all right okay so we have to remember that okay so now i'm gonna put the video with all these 50 60 um items that the department directors need to already been doing okay how many points you're gonna give to each and then in these two weeks before meetings you're already gonna decide and done they're gonna stay there for two years all right and as the city gonna be demolished you might even move to another location with your machines or if it's a school with the items of the school that's okay but that group gonna be together for two and a half years okay if they move everyone gonna move to the same city together or to the same village or whichever it is but you're trying to already make a commitment and keep that group together the best as possible because you're already learning about each other, you're already doing things together. So if you're a company producer, if you're a distribution center, you know, if you're a school, you know, you're already organized that way, try the best you can until December 25th. Okay, great. So here's the short videos with the six, about 60 items, so please put in alphabetical order, count the points and decide, okay? So get instructions from last year. It's two weeks before meetings. They have to do presentations about the department they want to be director about, right? We choose. They have to study and present in front of everyone else. They need to be capable, they need to be leaders, they need to be polite, respect everything else I already said, okay? Okay, so here is the basic information, requirements for the interested couple. So you're going to invite the ones you trust the most, not the ones your best friend and talk bad language, okay? So this is very important. You have to choose the best couples according to the organization needs, okay? This is very important. So, here they are. Before each sentence, you're going to put the title. For example, no English level 2. So, here goes English, colon, right? The two points. Um, uh, bachelor's, complete, and then you write the whole sentence. With diploma, this, this, and that, Okay? All right, so I didn't put here a few things about the, the language. Needs to be good, not bro here, bro there, mama here, ma there, right? Okay, people need to already be talking, saying a good English ahead of time, not from this day on. Okay. So this is very important. If people were already respectful, polite. If you know their children, they're also respectful and polite. That's it. They finish here 51. So I believe it will be about 60 or even maybe 70 because many items I combine. We're not combining items, okay? All right, here it is. All right, the other thing you're going to do if you're laying them out, make a nice lunch and already do a fundraising event or, you know, leave something, okay? 
simple. It's not to be fancy or spend too many hours. It no, that's not the objective, you know. But you, if you lay many people out, whichever is twenty or two thousand, offer lunch. Don't have money for everything. Ask them. Each person is gonna bring something themselves, such as a something raw that can cannot go wrong. It's not meat. It's not fish. Right, so if it's just a fabric, you know, you, I think that's nice. Make it neat, you know, make a pretty luncheon, okay? All right, give them joy, happiness, sing songs, do a prayer, okay? The other thing is the wooden board going to be what? About um, 40 centimeters long and about 10 centimeters wide, 10 or 20, all right? Okay, because that's plant, you can cut everything, right? Remember to keep your containers with a lid. They're going to be very useful afterwards to keep your vegetables and salads, herbs, roots, everything inside the refrigerator, okay? All right. All right, so basically it's that. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. We really appreciate your cooperation, dear volunteers. Thank you. So today is April 4th, 2023. Here it is. All right. We don't go to bed yet. Three o'clock. Almost time to get up. It's okay. We got a lot done. So this is the rest of the information here. I didn't put that WhatsApp. Just for the department directors. All right. And include everything you already said. So... Let's do uh, up to 65 items, okay? So, it will be the same for all countries. Thank you. Okay, the other thing I didn't say, keep all your printing paper. Keep any extra paper you have. Keep toilet paper. Cleaning products, I said, right? Soap, hand soap. Close the third, and if you have a washer there, according to your reality, depends the business that you are. Keep all your towels, shower towels, hand towels. Keep them at home, at your workplaces, because you're going to use them. going to cut the ones that are too big and use them. going to need a lot of cleaning towels along the years. Okay, don't throw any away. If they're too dirty, wash them again. You know, boil them. Do not throw any, any little, even tiny rags. Do not throw away. All right? Only when they're falling apart, and then it's okay. So keep them all. Pieces of old clothes as well. The clothes have a lot, a lot of stains in bleach or a, a, some pan that exploded in a pocket. You know, so... Use the pieces of clothes you can use for cleaning. You know, shirts, take the, the sleeves part out, the collar out, and use that. Because in the future, as I said, we're going to need a lot of fabric. Save every tiny bit you can. The other thing, if you have farm animal ships, cut them properly so people, kids at school, are going to use them to nap. You know, after first grade, they nap. Preschool, kindergarten, nursery, they nap a lot. First graders, they're going to nap about 40 minutes or so. Even second graders can nap. Because they're going to spend the entire day at school. Remember, until 14th grade, they spend at school. Only those that are 16 years old and older, twice a week, from Monday to Friday, can help their parents. But not now afterwards they can help now in a week and if the parents have a restaurant if they will be department directors the owners right of a restaurant for example a fun area but during the week leave them there they're safe they're learning you know they're gonna help the school itself it's great other things keep every toothpaste you have and give to people to bring home because they need it. soap, you know, for the clothes, detergent, you know, keep everything. We're going to use those things. 
Use the ones, ones first, the ones that have a little bit, or the ones you don't need that much, such as carpet washers, you know, because you can wash rugs with soap, for example. If you have stain removal, use only when really needed for clothes and not for rags. Okay, be reasonable, okay? And for food, if you have any canned, canning food, food inside cans, if for work location or keeping them, okay? Sand them already during these two days, emptying out and cleaning up, send to the family street at home. Because they're going to check which ones they're going to eat first, which one expire first, right? Or if they have a lot of fresh food, they're going to use the can afterwards, all right? But you cannot keep food in a freezer, fridge, or can food, or ships, everything already already said, or candies at work areas. It's only a few fresh salads and veggies for the salad okay just for now until august after that we're gonna tell you how to do if you have chickens real chickens then it's okay but then you need a couple to come on the weekend right saturday morning afternoon and sunday morning sunday afternoon four elders or eight elders Okay, to check because chickens are not being trapped the whole Saturday, the whole Sunday. They need to go out. Okay, all right. All right, so the only workplace that can keep meat, food in, in, in can and the freezer, the restaurants that you still can open, but not a la carte anymore. Going to be buffet. You serve what you have, and it's one, the plates there, the food there for everyone. Exactly the same. In bowls, not in plates anymore, okay? All right, but every other business of all types, they don't have a restaurant. They are not a restaurant, okay? So they already give the food away or sell to someone. The other thing you cannot keep are grains, right? No grains. Only restaurants can keep grains and clubhouses and schools, all right? Everybody else is going to eat only this fresh salad at lunchtime. Okay, restaurants do not open at lunch because everyone is going to eat lunch at their own work area. All right, restaurant's going to open only for dinner until August. That's how going to be. Okay? All right, so send already. If you have any grain or can, already give them to your own employees and volunteers. All right, if you have the authorized instruments, the acoustic guitar, right, chamber orchestra, xylophone, the recorder, Keep them or already drop them off at schools. Okay, if you have a piano, if you're a restaurant, then it's okay, you can keep it right there. All right, okay, and uh, do the videos, everything afterwards, and make notes properly what is where. You know, so in this cabinet, this closet with a lock, what you have there. Oh, you have two or four instruments, or you have ten records. What do you have there? Okay, for the computers, the same way. If you still didn't finish your account, you cannot give your computer to a school or a library or a laptop, right? Leave it right there until, you know, and the printer, okay? So, you have to make sure you have everything printed and at the YouTube channel before you get rid of your computer or before you set it up. That actually is one of the first things. You don't want people to get rid of their computers and then don't know what to do. The other thing, be careful with your password that you email because some people are using never close down their computer. They don't even remember what was their password, okay?
All right, and put new keys at the gate as well. All right, and move to a smaller location. As I said, if you're not really going to be a big school, because you know we're gonna use much less space authorized to be used. All right, we're doing really great. Make your reports neat, and we have more updates coming up soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day. All right, so the other thing, if you have more than 40 people, so go ahead, have a food processor, all right, to cut big, that's okay. Or you're going to get more points if you have two couples in the morning cooking for lunch, and in the afternoon, two other couples already preparing the best as possible for next day, washing the vegetables, you know, Washing the leaves, you know, because the kale, the spinach, or the, 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 the cabbage, or whichever you have, the, the, the herbs need washing, okay? And cut everything closest as possible. But these two couples in the morning, two couples in the afternoon will be plenty. But don't get crazy if, until you get organized and have the board and have the knives installed. Use a processor. Go ahead. You know, for two weeks or so, okay? The other thing is for an ironing board, an iron, all right? The clubhouse is only going to have two. Two for each. That's fine. Two or four. If you already have many, keep them. Right, and then you're going to see which one is the approved or not, with water, without water. Have 10, keep 10, because then lock them all, right? And have only one available at a time for people to go to work properly dressed, because some countries don't have dryers. What are they going to use? The ironing, uh, a blanket on a, on a table or a blanket on a, on a counter, right? And uh, with a sheet on the top, because some blankets, you know, you can, don't want to burn the blankets, right? And, or make them yellow, okay? All right, have an ironing board, that's fine. A fold, put them away. So people can go to work with proper clothes if needed, okay? Because some countries have, like United States, have a lot of fabric that does not wrinkle. They will have dryers. But some other countries, they don't. What they have is regular clotheslines, okay? So clubhouses also can keep a food processor, right? Keep two. All right, if you have five or 10 or 20, because some clubhouses are going to have pans, pots from all those apartments, that's fine. Keep them all. Because with time, you're gonna, in the following week, you're going to call schools, other places to share what you have. Okay? So keep them all. Food processors we really need. Keep them all. Blenders also have 10, 20. That's fine. You're going to share the schools or keep the ones you need. If one break, you have some more. Keep 40. Those two things we are going to need. We're going to make soap gonna use them for many different things okay all right for the ship skin for for kindergarten nursery first and second grade you know the farm is gonna offer two schools close by do not keep the leg keep you know cut as a little blanket about four or five centimeters away two or four times a year they're gonna brush that wool you know, that very thin, you know, brush it to make soft again, all right? So, farmers uh, that have school cities close by can use that. And in other places that they don't have, they're going to use yoga mats. If you're closing a gym, for example, don't throw yoga mats away. Donate to schools, okay? A thread mill, bicycles that ins are for inside... Those you can throw away. If their dose is strong, can stay outside. You know, they're not, they're good quality. They can stay under a veranda, for example. That's okay. We're going to keep every community. going to keep 
two or four of those, okay? All right, thank you.